Hello, and welcome back to the College of Winterhold. Um, last episode, I did some quests, and um, I came out from the Midden over here, and, you know, after speaking with the Augur of Dunlane. However, I'm going to take a break from the College of Winterhold questline, um, just because I need to train up my skills, because I'm, like, not very good at not dying right now. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, last episode, in my yeah, on my way out of the Midden, I did level up, and I boosted my magic at to 200. So, I'm almost at level 10, at which point I can take another perk. And to help me along with that, I have some skill books here. So, I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna read through them. I may make an episode, like, after the series ends. Like a bonus episode at the end of, uh... At the end of the 30th. Um... So that I can, uh you know, read through some of these books and actually read them for you. Racial phylogeny, restoration increased to 21. Response to bear with speech is amusingly enough destruction. Uh, the black arts on trial. Illusion increased to 16. And I think that was all of them. Yep. Sweet. Also have an invisibility potion recipe here, which needs ice wraith teeth and chara sags. That's going to be difficult to get. Um, especially as the ice wraith that I killed down there seems to have disappeared, so now I can't pick up that stuff. Alright, I'm gonna go head over to the Hall of Attainment and have a chat with Jazargo since I tested his scrolls for him. Uh, Jazargo, buddy! I tested your scrolls, I only exploded a little bit. Jazargo regrets there was no chance to speak with the Sijik monk. Yeah, well, at least one Kajik got to speak to him, right? <clears throat> anyway, I've tested your scrolls. And? Were they magnificent? Were they supposed to explode? Because they exploded. Uh, no. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. But Jazargo is pleased to see that you are here, and not in pieces. You are a good friend to have done this. Jazargo will not forget it. Okay, so now if I want, Jazargo can be my follower. Then lead on, friend. And we can be... Khajiit buddies. Khajiit mage buddies. Which also means I can give him some stuff. Um, I need to trade some things with you. Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. Um, so this is, at this point I can give him some of my stuff, but because he's Jezargo and because he's a fellow Khajiit, um, I don't think I can trust him with my dragon stuff. So I think it's time for us to part ways already. Really? Jezargo was having such fun. Ah, well. Back to the college, then. Yeah, the college that we're standing in right now. <laughs> right. So I think, instead of him, I'm gonna go and make my way back to... Dragon's Reach, over here. And I'm gonna stick around here for a little while and, like, do quests and stuff here. Because I need to take a break from Winterhold. It's too cold up there. So let's have a look around Dragon's Reach. Um, <clears throat> my house, Carl Lydia, should still be here somewhere. Ah, there she is. Let me just take a seat. Mean, just have a seat and uh, chat. Honored to see you again, my Thane. Uh, follow me. I need your help. Lead the way. Okay, and then she gets up. I'm right but... behind you. Okay, so I need to trade some things with you. I am sworn to carry your burdens. And carry them you shall. <laughs> Here, have some dragon bones. And also some dragon scales. Sweet. Um, I think if I part ways with her now, she will be able to hold on to them. But I could... Let's get going then. Yeah, I could have her follow me for a little while. I mean, she is my house, Carl. So she's hopefully a good fighter. <laughs> There's another person I could have as a follower, but um, I don't know if it would really work in character. But you never know. I might I might have a chat with her later. Um, it's Uthgur the Unbroken from down what in the it? tavern. Dragons? I hope not dragons. No dragons, please. There have been no dragons apart from the plot ones so far. Okay. But yeah, Uthgur. Ooh. Patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. 
God damn it. I don't know any of this. I'm new to Skyrim. Yeah, I'm trying. Ireland. Fancy robes. I've been looking for you. Oh. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Hmm. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Looks like that's it. Got to go. Okay. Uh. Let's see what this letter from the Jarl is. Jarl Sidgear of Falkreath. Um, Chaz, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Sidgear, and I have the honor to be the Jarl of the proud and ancient city of Falkreath. The fame of your exploits across Skyrim has brought you to my attention. If you are interested in becoming a Thane of Falkreath Hold, I invite you to speak to me the next time you are in Falkreath. Aside from the honor that accrues to the title, my Thanes are entitled to a personal house, Carl. I can also tell you privately that a choice parcel of land in Falkreath would be available for purchase should your services prove useful to me. I look forward to meeting you in prison person. I remain Jarl Sidgear of Falkreath. Hmm. So that's the that's like I a, a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Shush. Spare a coin for a fellow in orders down on his luck. Uh uh. What was I saying? Yeah, I think that's supposed to be like an end point for the Hearthfire DLC, which is what I talked about previously. I'm not gonna do that just yet. Um, in fact, let me see what quests I do have. I keep going into the wrong menu for quests. Uh, let's see. Miscellaneous. Um, right now, it's just speak to the Earl of Valkyrie, speak with the leader of the companions, blah, 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 blah. Um, I could travel to Solstheim. That might be a bit difficult for me right now, though, because those cultists actually nearly killed me last time. Shelter's insights, find Shelter's writings. I don't have much... I don't have much in the way of side quests to do right now. You guys can bugger off. Lydia is making her way downtown to catch up with me because she didn't want to. She didn't want to go off the road. Hello again. <laughs> so the reason I've got Lydia holding on to the dragon chunks that um, I handed her is because I don't want to trade them yet because my barter skill is it barter or is it speech? Let me see skills. It'll be in the thief tree. Uh, speech. There we are. Uh, so speech. My speech skill is not great yet. Um, speech skill improves buying and selling prices. Let's see. I can bribe guards to ignore crimes. <laughs> so yeah, at some point I'm going to improve my speech. So that I can get some decent prices for those dragon things. Because right now, I'm probably not going to get the value that they're worth. So, you know. There's a nip in the air. Cold won't be good for my crops. Never is. Yep. It was a little bit chilly. Okay. Let's see. Down here? Yeah, she's going to pathfind her way around that. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to head down that way because my first attempt at this recording resulted in me wasting my time with a dungeon that I was going to get killed at. Um, however, if I head up this way... Oh wait, maybe... Maybe I shouldn't have been so hasty to leave Dragon's Rage just yet, because if I remember right, there's some jobs I can get that will help me to carry favor with the Jarl. <clears throat> Excuse me. God, I'm, like, meandering and stuff today. <clears throat> and I have a flammy throat. Great. I'm not coming down with anything, I just have a flaming throat. Uh, it seems our enemies have no end of spies, saboteurs, and assassins to send against us. Okay, let's see. I'm looking for this guy. Preventus. I serve Jarl Balgruf as steward. Preventus. Jarl is, as you can imagine, very busy. Perhaps uh, I can assist you. I'm looking for work. Have you got any leads? The Jarl has put out a bounty on some bandits. Here. Take a look at this decree for details. That's what I was looking for. Enjoy so, your visit to Dragon's Reach. I'm gonna kill the bandit leader located at Silent Moon's camp. And in doing this, I'm hoping I'll be able to level up my magic skills. And um yeah. Okay, let's see. Quests. Miscellaneous, kill the bandit leader. So this is gonna be my currently tracked quest, hopefully. Probably. 
Right. And my house Carl is following me. That's good. So let's check the map and see where it is. So it's a college water hold. It's a custom destination. I can probably clear that now. Just remove that tag. Silent Moon's cap. Camp. Cap. Camp. There. Uh, let me just fast travel out to the Whiterun stables. So I don't have to go through Whiterun and level. <laughs> do all that freaking crap. Alright, so Silent Moon's camp is at the blue marker here. I'm not going to worry about Lydia too much. She'll find her way. Maybe. She'll catch up eventually. I'm not a very fast mage. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, there she is. Over the hills and far away. Okay, so I should probably be careful about the route I'm taking, but I can use this opportunity to practice some spells. Like casting fury on a deer. It now has no idea where to go. <laughs> I just made it furious for a little while. Let's see. I can conjure a flame atronach as well. Alright. So I'm gonna... Let's see. Is Lydia somewhere here? No, I've left Lydia behind. Oops. Or her pathfinding has decided to take her on some very strange roundabout route. Either way. Nurn route. Let's get rid of that humming noise. I still love that. The reason some people pick Nurn route is just to get rid of that goddamn humming noise. Okay. I like half expecting Lydia to like come charging over the place. Yeah, like charging over the hill. Like and just take forever to get there, just like in, um... Just like in Holy Grail. Yeah, there she is. I'm gonna be trying to edit this with, um, Movie Studio Platinum, or whatever it's called. So maybe I can, maybe I can edit that in. Ooh. There's some bandits here, and now they're fighting. Right, um... Let me see if I can... Cause this guy to go berserk and start attacking his teammates. Now he's going to continue to. There we go. Oh god, and now a dragon is attacking. So that's interesting. Oh god, ow, magic. That's a material. Let's see here. Um. Contra for play Matronax. Alright. So now not only do we have bandits, we also have a dragon. Amazing. Wonderful. Are you just flying away? Come on. Come on. So we've got a lot of fighting, like, a lot of infighting going on here. And the dragon's buggered off, I think. Or he's just circling around to swoop back in again. Yeah, I think he's just... Um, circling around. I wish he would make up his bloody mind. Yeah, he's buggered off. So he has. No, he hasn't. He's headed right this way. Well, let's just head in. We'll deal with him when we come back out. If he's gonna spend all his time like flying around and being a doof. Uh ooh, 130 gold, hell yeah. Orcish mace of siphoning. Huh. That's a single handed weapon. Sure, that might be useful. Items let's see, what am I wielding right now? I'm wielding the steel war axe. Or I have the steel war axe favorite. Let me chat with Lydia. I'm right behind you. Um Need to try some things with you. Okay, so equip mode. Um, I can get you to equip. We have the steel sword right now, which only does eleven damage. So I'm gonna give you my 
Let's see, steel warrax. Steel warrax. 13 damage. I'm going to give you that. And. Yeah, you've got it equipped. Nice. Lead on. Okay, and there goes my Atronach. So, did I already kill the bandit leader here? Oh, God. I keep using the wrong menu for quests. Miscellaneous. Kill the bandit leader located at Silent Moon's camp. Well, I'm at Silent Moon's camp. But I didn't see any leader. Unless there's like a place I have to enter. I'm assuming there's a dungeon I have to enter. And I think I've just found it. I can climb up here. Silent Moon's camp. That's what I was looking for. So I'm going to be sneaky. The dragon's still chilling outside, probably. But we'll fight him when the time comes. So I'm going to do Fury. Okay, I'm not going to walk into the fire. That would be a bad idea. What was that? Didn't see me. Didn't see me. Hopefully he's gonna just like run off and attack somebody else. Nope. Never mind. Lydia? Lydia? I could be done with some help here. Somebody's trying to shank me. Oh, you did not just say that. You're getting a fireball, buddy. <laughs> um, right. He's got some arrows in him. Uh, that's one way to ensure that I kill somebody painfully, is to call me a cat. Okay, again, somebody here. Let's see if I can fury them. I don't know how high level they are, so I'm going to dual cast this, because a single cast will affect enemies up to level 6. A dual cast will affect enemies up to level 13. And I missed. Great. Okay, Lydia, come with me. We're gonna hide. We're gonna hide in this corner here. Okay, or you could not hide. I hope she didn't die. She's got my dragon bones. Actually, um, as far as I'm aware, uh, companion NPCs can't die. Uh, they can get knocked over for a little while, but they can't outright die because they're sort of marked as essential. There. I saved your hide, Lydia. Oh, that was the leader. <laughs> That's that dealt with. I just got some lockpicks. I'm just gonna explore this place further. A little bit of extracurricular activity, as it were. See, that's a red guard down there. It was me. I heard that did nothing because I missed. That the best you can do? I wouldn't accidentally. Okay, no, I didn't. Sweet, Lydia. Um, this is a very interesting piercing you've got. <laughs> I think this episode is a keeper, even though, even if I don't do anything particularly interesting. But I did do quite some interesting stuff there. Ah, oh, woodcutter, thanks. Okay. What have we got? Eight gold. Hunting bow. Lockpick. Salmon steak. Hmm. Ooh, iron door. This is an adept level iron door. This might be a little bit difficult to pick. Okay, so I know roughly where the sweet spot is now. It's like on this side. God damn it. I can do this. Ugh. On. Ah, you bastard. It's not that tight, because it's like, the more it wiggles, the closer you are to the sweet spot. And like, over here. Ah, I can do this. Ah, come on. But oh. <laughs> it was like that the whole time. I wasted how many lockpicks on that? Ooh, scroll of hysteria. Creatures and people up to level twelve flee from combat. And a garnet, that's nice.
Oh, that's some interesting loot. Uh, some spare gold here. Lingering stamina poison. Pl potion of plentiful stamina. Potion of enhanced stamina. Oh, wow. Lunar Iron War Axe. Huh. Interesting. Anyway. Um, I guess I'm gonna head back out here. Now that my quest is complete. That took a lot, a lot less time than I thought it would. This place wasn't as big as I thought it was. I thought I was gonna, like, explore an entire mine. Alright. Let's open the doors to Skyrim. And... Let's see. Map. Can I fast travel back to Dragon's Reach? Yes, I can. So the dragon did not reach us before I could get to Dragon's Reach. Sweet. What is it? Dragons? Commander Caius. Okay. So I'm gonna have a chat with Preventus. Preventus of Ichi. There's a thing is Preventus I need to chat with for my reward. Absurd that you can't cook good sweet rolls in the skeever hole of a city. I okay. Whatever you say, kid. Um God again with the menus going the wrong way. Um Miscellaneous. Collect bounty from Preventus of Ichi. Did you slip out again last night for a drink of the Bennett Mare? Heard about that, did you? Yes, I went out for a pint or two. What of it? These secret visits to the tavern will make you an easy target for an enemy assassin. You should have told me first. Damn it, woman, I'm the Jarl of Whiterun. I won't apologize for talking to my people. You can't protect me every moment of the day. That might be so. But it will never stop me from trying. BFFs. <laughs> wow, look at that rope. Are you a wizard? Yes. Prevent us. Prevent us of victory. You probably wouldn't be in here. This is uh, Farangar's domain. It won't stop me from looking. Nope. Okay, never mind. Silly me. Once again, my eternal struggle in finding the fucking NPC that I have to turn in my quest to. Uh, this isn't Preventus' place. Let's take a look in this chest. Gold. Nice. Mine now. <laughs> Dragons reach Jarl's quarters. Maybe Preventus is... I think I know where he is. I mean, I'm not entirely sure, but... I can guess. Maybe he is up if here. You're heading east. Steer clear of Hillgood's tomb. Thing about those old crypts, the dead having trouble staying that way. Yeah, I've seen that. And my map has been updated with it. The Great Porch. I think this is where they may be. Yep. The Great Porch of Dragon's Reach. Huh. That's an interesting looking thing there. Mr. Avicii. All this standing Ooh. around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight to the Stormcloaks. Hmm. Preventus. I serve Jarl Balgrub as steward. Uh, the, bandit, the bandit leader at Silent Moon's camp is dead. I am here for the bounty. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Sweet. 100 gold. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. That plus the loot that I got from there is nice. Hmm. Training. Sweet. I'll have a chat with you all and see if there's anything else I can do. I would like to level up to 10, but I don't think I'm going to be able to, because it's taken a little while. Uh, Jarl. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Right. Um... Absurd that you can't cook good sweet rolls. Would you not? You've said that already. <laughs> Jesus. Thinking of settling in? There's a house for sale. Breeze Hall. We should talk to the And that's my dog barking. Wonderful. However, I'm gonna keep this recording just for Lydia having that very it's perfectly placed game. arrow in the nose. Guys, <sighs> fucking annoying. <laughs> <laughs> fucking zealots, man. Chop 
chops and steaks fit for a yarl. Come and see my special I need finest trinkets for you. What's the matter? You can't hmm. stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? Where? Hmm. Okay, Lydia. I've got your back. I need to try some things to do. You, my Thane? Um, I'm gonna take those dragon things from you. I'm, I'm, I know I was gonna hold on to them until they were, until I could get more for them. But let's see, dragon scales. There. I, t I, I think I should just trade them now, because I need the money. Bellathor's general goods. Let me know if you see anything you like. Why does it, why does every shopkeeper have the same? Lydia. Lydia, what have I told you? About breaking the laws of physics. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. And that makes you a disgusting person. Let's trade. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. Like I said, disgusting. What have you got for sale? Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep Lydia around because if if she's gonna keep breaking the laws of physics like this, I think she's gonna be nice to have around. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so he has 767 gold. So I'm probably not gonna. Okay, let's see. I right, like sell all of these. Oh, transaction value 1,140. Okay, no. You can get my dragon scales then. And now I have much more money than I would normally have. Oh, I still have my leather helmet of minor archery here. Although I don't need that, so I can sell that to you as well. Nice. Do come back. Okay. So that's that trade done. And I have more money now. I don't have as much money as I was like, but I'll find more ways of making money. And I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my hunting bow. If I can. I should be able to. Uh, workbench. Okay, I can't do it there. Oh, grindstone. Good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Hunting bow. Two leather strips. So now it's a fine hunting bow. So it should do a little bit more damage with those magical arrows I've got. The drunken huntsman. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Uh, what else to do? I guess I can just go out and explore. But I work with my mother to sell fruits and vegetables. I, I've heard this fruits and vegetables speech before. You don't need to go on your filibuster about fruits and vegetables. Oh. Doors are just misbehaving with me today. Eventually I will enchant my clothes and make them better, but I still need to do that uh, Azura Star quest. I, I can't remember if I actually talked about that in this recording attempt, but I want to do it. And I'm not entirely sure whether I should go for Azure's Star or turn it into the Black Star. Um, for people who have played Skyrim before, I would like your feedback on that. Um, in character, I would go for Azure's Star, but for gameplay terms, having the Black Star would be a better idea because then I could just capture NPC souls all day, every day, forever, and be able to level up my enchanting to crazy amounts of levels. So for now, I'm heading down this road. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going, but I'll find something interesting on the way, I'm sure. And Lydia is following me because I'm actually following the road this time. I like Lydia. She's breaking all the laws of physics just to serve me. <laughs> it's not every day you can say that about somebody. That was that was very odd though. Just open <laughs> open the door, go into the shop, and Lydia who was previously behind me suddenly pops up from behind the shop counter to say hello. <laughs> okay, let me see here. What is this way across this bridge? Uh, Riften, Windhelm, Everstead, Winterhold, Solitude and White Run. I think I'll go along this road. I'll take it a little bit over 30 minutes. Maybe not too much. But we can... Ooh, lavender. You can just admire the scenery. I do like some of these views. I like this river here. That's really nice. Whoa! Skeever. 
Bam. You're not going to stop me from enjoying the view. Alright. Let's see. I'll use a flea metronach next time. I wonder what dual casting the Contra Flea Matronach spell would do. Oh, wolves. Oh, okay. Let's try it again. Oh. Hmm. Oh, okay. Pit wolves. Yeah, that's right. Uh. All right. So, hmm, a bouncer. Small note. Uh, lockpick. And battle axe. All right. Ooh. Nice. Okay, let's read this note. It could be a hook to the next episode. Hmm, bounty. Oh yeah, this is this is bounty that I um fulfilled. Um, small note. Adriel, I need you to go out and find the missing pit wolves before the next tournament. We lost too many during the last fights, and we won't be able to train new ones in time. Find them and bring them back to Crags Lane at once. Where's Crags Lane? Crags Lane is if I like got the world map. Where is Crags Lane? Uh I'm going to assume. It said it updated my map, but it doesn't say where it updated my map. Crags Lane, Crags Lane Cavern. That's all the way over there. I don't think I'm going to be doing that next episode. <laughs> Let's uh, continue along the road. Yeah, no. That's just a regular wolf. Okay. Oops. Break it, Lydia. I almost forgot. I'm right behind you. Can I give you I the dragon bones again? To carry your burdens. Yep. There we go. Let's get going then. Okay. Um Let's see what interesting things are up this road. Iverstad and Wonderhold and a wolf. Rifted and White Run. Hmm. I think I'll follow this path and see what's there. What I do see is a wonderful view. Grey Winter Watch discovered. Interesting. I think this will be a nice place to um, leave off for this episode. Um, it's a wonderful view. There is, um, there's White Run. I almost forgot the name of it again. That's Dragon's Reach. That's a great porch. Um, the sun is setting across the countryside. Oh wow, that's a really good view. You get the river down there as well. Nice. Okay. So next episode. I'm going to be taking a look in um, what this place was. <laughs> uh, Grey Winter Watch. Yeah, I'm going to be taking a look at Grey Winter Watch next episode. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you later.